right, that's how we play in back to our interview that we started earlier on here on Morning Live. A breakfast with Kenny Kunene this morning here on Morning Live. Remember that you can become part of the conversation at Morning Live SABC, hashtag Kenny Kunene. And we continue where we left off. Yes. You referred to Julius Malema as Judas Sellout. Why? Um, Baso Tubari Libizo Lebeki Siromo. So I think his initials would refer to that. His initials are, are JS. I think Silo was supposed to be a sellout and J was supposed to be Judas. Mm. Uh, I know for sure that uh, Julius's hero, amongst others, or Julius's heroes, one is Robert Mugabe, two is Saddam Hussein, and many others, of course. And I know for sure that Julius' hatred for white monopoly capital is in his bone marrow. But how do you I know? know for sure that Julius's hatred for white people is in his bone marrow because these are the discussions that we had, the conversations that we had. The naming so that's of... So those are the things that you looked at and talked about while you were still a, a member of the EFF. Exactly. And you and were part of those discussions. I was part of those discussions because we said, uh, I said that we should have white people, we, we, we should also recruit white people. But Julia said, no white man is fighting for economic freedom. And our, the name of our organization is Economic Freedom Fighters, so we can't have white people. Okay. But then Floyd then said, uh, we are going to fail because organizations that are black only, obviously black only, they end up failing. And uh, that is, then he said, we will then use them as just a facade. And what was your, and, uh, what was your view? I, 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 I went with it. I was part of that collective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm saying he's a, he's a Judas and a sellout because... Uh, Julius went to London and uh, whilst there I told a few friends of mine before Julius could go to, to, to London that Julius will be going to London and uh, whilst there he met Lord Robin Renwick the very same person that made Julius call Nelson Mandela a sellout and however Julius tries to, to spin the issue of Nelson Mandela I know that he, he does not believe in the legacy of, of Nelson Mandela because him and Floyd, when I defended the legacy of Nelson Mandela, they gave me a DVD that was shot by Eric Mieni on mining, where Nelson Mandela appears out of prison saying that they will nationalize. And coming from London, saying that uh, 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 the hatred of the captains of the industry is of, of nationalization is so visible that you can cut it with a blade. Now, Julius goes to meet the same people that made him call Nelson Mandela a sellout. Yeah. And when he comes out of that meeting with the same man who has been part of a British expansion in Africa, who is an imperialist and a white monopoly capitalist, he has a meeting with this guy. A platform is created for Julius to go and say three things. We know that uh, the Chatham House was set up by Cecil John Rhodes, who named uh, Zimbabwe after himself, Russia. And we know that Chatham House leaders... Uh, hate Robert Mugabe. So the first thing that they said to him, you have praised Robert Mugabe with his land reform. Go and criticize him. Uh, London, America and France, including Western Cape, a uh, white monopoly capital, believe that South Africans vote for the ANC because of the legacy of Mandela. Yeah. So they had Julius trample on it in London. And also to say that he'll go into a coalition only with the DA. So that is why I'm calling him a Judas and a sellout. And when he came back from London, you must listen to his wedding, choice of words. He uses the same words that Nelson Mandela used when he came back from London. He says he's proud to have met the captains of the industry. That is how Nelson Mandela mm. described the people that he met in London. He described them in the same way. However... Nelson Mandela was very clear that uh, we are changing our economic position because we want to build a better future for South Africans. He did not sell out. But Julius comes back and he wants to portray a different picture to what he went to London for. He came back and he, he has insulted, he has spit on the blood of the O.R. Tambos, on the blood of the Solomon Matangus. He has absolutely no right to call himself a revolutionary or to even name Fanon, Che Guevara, and all these uh, revolutionaries who have shed their blood in the name of economic liberation. So basically you're saying Judas. that he's been influenced by what you refer to as the white monopoly capitalist. He was not only influenced. Judas is gone. 
there is no revolutionary left in Julius. All right. That is why that is why I told friends of mine after he did that press conference at Alexandra after the elections, when he told the nation that he has given a condition to to the DA, I said to my friends, an hour after that interview, Julius is going to change his tune on this condition because he that is not his decision. Mm -hmm. And the following day, Julius changed his shun on, on Herman Mashaba because it's not his, his decision. He did not give conditions when he was in London. He was giving conditions. So he is a sellout and he's a Judas. All right. Now, those are the serious allegations that you're making here on Morning Live. We'll have to get Julius Malema on the show to respond to everything that you have just said. That's so why we'll, I'm we'll challenging him. An, yeah, we'll extend an invitation to him to a so that debate. he can come over on Morning Live to respond to everything that you have said. So, basically, those are the reasons why you left EFF. That is the build-up, yes. There yeah. are some of the reasons. He has also lied, even when I was at the EFF. Let me show you another big lie. He went to Nigeria with, with uh, who he called a blank we said in Lozi. He used to call him a blank. He said, Floyd, I'll, I'll take this blank along. He must take pictures of me when why I'm in Nigeria. Why did you refer to him as a blank? Do you know why? Yes, I know because Mbuiseni came to an interview. Uh, Mbuiseni was, did not join EFF. He came to an interview to be a spokesperson. Okay. And uh, so Julius, after that interview, said to Floyd, yeah, Floyd, you have really, you, you've brought us a blank, but it's fine because I will transform this blank to make him a revolutionary. However, what I'm saying is, he went to Nigeria and he told the world that he's going to TB Joshua. Him, Floyd, and myself know that TB Joshua was a decoy. That was another big lie. TB Joshua was a decoy, and that is why Mbuiseni was taking pictures and tweeting to give an impression to the world and the media that he has gone to, to see TB Joshua for spiritual reasons. Julius is not religious. But what was the Julius main does not of the believe meeting? in Christ. What, what was the main purpose of his meeting Julius, with TB Joshua? Julius does not believe in God. Julius only goes to churches when it serves his political uh, motives. So he went to Nigeria to meet certain people. And I'm saying, for me to be able so that he's got that right of, of reply, I'm challenging him to a public debate. And he mustn't forget his passport so that we can also deal with this lie of Mozambique. All right. Uh, I, like I said, you can become part of the conversation at Morning Live SABC. Hashtag Kenny Kunene. What do you make of the conversation that we've just had so far with uh, Kenny Kunene? Talk to us about the new set, the new slot that we have. So we're just <coughs> going to quickly go on to uh, our Twitter handle at Morning Live SABC and take some of your tweets. Banda A. Similani says, what is his take on the hashtag Feast 2017 and would he be willing to help donate the course for free tertiary education? Uh, I can count at the moment about uh, exactly five learners that I am paying for their university uh, studies. Mm -hmm. I can tell you now that there's a girl, uh, I was stopped by a couple in Klexdorp telling me that their 13-year-old girl is so clever, but she can't go to a better school. And uh, I have already told my people, they will be going there to go get that girl. We are taking her into a a, a good school, not that she's not in a good school, but we believe that uh, with her uh, A, A plus results, she needs a better education and I'll be taking her to, to, to university. And this particular course, yeah. there are some students who have come to me even before that I have helped. Okay. I, 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 so I you believe are still in it. Willing to continue with a good course? I, I will continue. Into consideration I will continue the, the with the good cause. I will continue with the good cause. I will help those who still come to me. However, I still believe that uh, destroying property and being violent about it mm -hmm. is not the the right way to go. But do you still have money? I mean, there were reports that Kenny has been very quiet. He might be broke. Are you broke? You, you know, I've been broke uh, since 2011, 2012. Everyone, all my critics have been saying I'm broke. Mm -hmm. I want to see this brokenness. If I'm broke, then they must let's be pieces. Hear from you. I mean, you have the opportunity to respond to your critics now here on Morning Live. Are you broke? No, I'm not. You're not broke? No, I'm not. You're still well off. I'm wearing uh, Edward Dresler uh, suit. <laughs> I'm wearing fa Ferragamo shoes. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing... You're wearing two watches uh, on your wrist. Shirt. I'm wearing two serious timepieces. Look, um, I'm wearing Visage shades. Um, not that I... I, 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 I I, I'm boasting, mm. uh, but that's the reality. And that's I'm hard. saying to you, the students that I'm paying for their university fees. Uh, we have a restaurant, Rivonia, on deck, uh, on Rivonia Road. We are opening uh, three more. And I don't understand. 
uh, why would people uh, be so willing to say that I'm broke? However, if I'm broke in their eyes, then it's fine. Mm. But personally, in your deep down, when I want to say you're not broke. I'm fine. I'm doing well. I'm doing fine. All right. I'm okay. doing fine. All baby. right. Um, let's just go back to your tweets at Morning Live SAPC hashtag Kenukunene. That's real talk right there. That's from Peter Hub. We'll keep the tweets coming as we take a break here on Morning Live. We we'll continue our conversation with Kenukunene. Don't go away.